Blood Spray is an amazing overclock. The sheer power that this overclock grants the burst rifle can't be described in words alone, only by showing just how much this overclock can really kill. But you have to sacrifice your base spread to be able to deal out this high damage. But you won't really notice it when even the Dreadnoughts cower in fear. You'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alrighty. Oh, breeder. God damn. Goodbye, breeder. I'm so happy with the changes that they've made to plasma booster missiles. They're just, oh, so much better. God, every time now. I just love plasma booster missiles. Can never decide between the two. Jet fuel homebrew powder or plasma boosters. I'm glad that we're getting a Halloween event because I was getting kind of worried there for a second because they were saying like how they were only going to be doing production on on Rogue Core. So I was kind of being like, oh, no, we're not going to get we're not going to get the the funny um, the funny floating skull, which, by the way, I, I knew we were going to get that because the sandbox mod has the code for the the floating skull for the Halloween event. So I thought they were just going to like save it for next year, but nope. Looks like we're getting a Halloween event. Hell yeah. I don't know what's better for Plasma Burster Missiles. I wonder if someone could put it in the comments what they use for Plasma Bursters. I usually like to go like full damage sort of where I do weak point bonus damage and then you just let the, the missiles gain more damage over time as they fly. So I'm assuming that gear mod works with it. But I wonder if AOE would do really nicely with Plasma Bursters as well. Probably because they go in and out of all the bugs. Oh, they're both over there. Okay. Well, I'm going down this way. Oh, there's a mask too. Oh, I know. That's, that's a battery. I'm stupid. So, I'm so sorry for how the stream quality looks for my, my streams that I've been doing. Especially for the last one. The Outlast one that I did. Not a lot of people showed up to that one. But, at the same time, I do definitely know that the VOD is just... Oh, man. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. I... I think I've found a fix for it. I looked up how to set up the bitrate more properly. I like looked up a tutorial video on that one for like the internet speed and everything. So it should hopefully be better by next stream, uh, which next stream I'm doing a really fun game that is kind of one of my personal favorites. Still spooky month, so it's still gonna be a spooky game. Which I also have a question for y'all. I'm probably gonna also do a community post on this one too, like a question one, but. Do y'all like me doing more videos than just Deep Rock Galactic videos? Or do you guys just want me to only do Deep Rock videos? Because I know a majority of you guys found me through Deep Rock Galactic stuff. But I mean, you know, I kind of always intended to like do more than just Deep Rock Galactic. That doesn't mean that Deep Rock won't be a part of my channel because Deep Rock will always, you know, it'll always be my most favorite PC game, like no matter what. But I just kind of want to do more than just Deep Rock Galactic. That's just like a, a on, an honest question. Uh, you guys can be completely honest with that too in the comments. Deep Rock will always be a part of my YouTube channel. I mean, it's even in my banner. I have other games than just Deep Rock. What my plan was, was I wanted to do streams and then turn those streams into like just short experience videos that I edit down, you know, as clips for the people that couldn't make it to the stream. And slowly over time, I would do more games as well. But that doesn't mean that Deep Rock is, is going anywhere. Because Deep Rock will always be here. It's always going to be here. Forever and ever and ever. Okay. Go time. Nah, boo. Boo. Spawn them in. Yep. <laughs> I ask and I shall receive. Molly? <laughs> Where the hell are the, the children? Where are, where are the children? Behind this wall, probably. Get out here. Get out here. Ah, uh, hello. Goodbye, Praetorian. <laughs> there they are. God damn. Took y'all long enough. The other one died? When? What, Lloyd, was that you? Did you kill the other... Did you kill the other hive guard child? I do think that... 
how they should change hive guard is always have the spores on the body and make them smaller and have more health and then periodically she just spawns in the the children over time like maybe every 15 seconds or so i think that'd be better well now <laughs> I do enjoy me uh, bullying. <laughs> Come on, hive guard. Just let me kill you. Just let me kill you. Come on, let me kill you. There you go. Right, let's see how this does against the spores. Not too bad. Definitely keep them on uh, hive guard for longer. There you go. <laughs> So true, Gunner. I'm really excited for Rogue Core to come out. Definitely expect a lot of content out of that, too. I'm definitely going to be playing the hell out of that one. Do y'all also want me to play Deep Rock Survival? Because I, I have seen that game, too. It's also like a, a Rogue-like version of Deep Rock. But instead of it being first person, it's uh like third person view. There it is. Because I will definitely give... Uh, Deep Rock Survivor a try as well. I have seen clips from it from Reapy Ron and it looks really fun. So I'd be down to try it out. Oh yeah, so my friend's birthday gifts finally came in. The shirts. Uh, so yeah, here they are. This is what I got her. I got her like a Plague Doctor shirt. <laughs> it's like perfectly like has the perfect text. What's up doc? And then I got her a space astronaut where it says I need more space. It's both perfectly sarcastic and she really likes uh, space stuff and astronauts. So I got her that. And then the final one is a little bit personal, personal information. But basically though, uh, her and her husband really like World of Warcraft. And so I got her an org uh, pride shirt that says for the horde on it. So yeah, got her that. Steve, Steve, stop rocket. Now, you. Yeah. Oh, I should download that Steve mod. So apparently the guy who's modding the, the Steve mod for for us right now, uh, apparently in his video, he has a Steve mod that makes Steve have a different appearance on with the mining helmet. So I'm going to download that mod. <laughs> so I did not know that that was a different mod. I thought that was the, the mod he was doing. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Time to push you over. I want my Steve to look cool. Oh, wait. <laughs> Owie. Rude. Everything is a-okay. Not to worry about anything, Blifford. <laughs> Goddamn. This is all you are. You're just a pushover for me to bully. <laughs> Speaking of stuff that needs to be done differently, maybe give the Glyphid Dreadnought something else. Maybe make him a little bit more threatening. Because, yeah. <laughs> Super excited for that Steve mod, though. Man, cannot wait to have Steve's own health bar. Hell yeah. And have the proper cooldown timer for it. Because, holy gunk seed. In the game for Beastmaster, it, though it does show you the, the cooldown for it right there, it doesn't properly calculate it because even after you get it back, it's like another five or six seconds until you can actually tame another Steve. So that'll be a, like a big help. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, too steep. Oh, there's another one. Is this enough gunk seats? Question mark. Oh, there's plenty. <laughs> Come back, Molly. You know, that's something else I wish that you could do is like there, have a wave point where you hold C and it places down like a green one for Molly to just stay at. Just stay. Because I swear to God, sometimes it'd be nice just to put Molly to just to sit down and stay. Love Let's Prayer. Love all the overclocks. Oh man, I should really do like a ranked video on all the overclocks. I don't know if I've done all the overclocks just yet. I might need to try out a few. Oh, that's a that was a typo with Mission Control's text. So 
You're telling me that all those typo fixes that they do in every single patch is actually real? I always think that they just do that as a joke. Oh, well, anyways. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot what I was going to talk about. I really did just forget what I was talking about, man. Damn it. What the hell was I going to talk about? I don't remember. Huh. <laughs> I really did. Meeple. I guess editing me will, will be laughing at myself for forgetting what I was going to talk about. Because I legit just forgot what I was going to talk about. Damn it. <laughs> well, oh, I, okay. I just remembered. I should do a rank, a ranked video. I don't, but I don't know if I've done all the, the overclocks just yet. I have no idea. Unless it doesn't matter, because I've done all the fun ones, like all the unique ones, for all the guns. So I could potentially do an overclock ranked video. That'd be cool, and a guns ranked video from all my favorite guns to least favorite ones. Bullied some dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts successfully bullied, and no downs. Hell yeah.